Welcome back guys to Pinal Crossover, it's your one Mark and Mark. And here we have to talk about more about the All-Stars. What's up in the NBA? JR, what do we have? So first, we didn't see the televised draft of LeBron mm -hmm. James and Stephen Curry. So many people wanted it. It would have it would been a fun time. We should see we could have seen the personalities out there, which the NBA has so many of them. Kyrie being picked by LeBron James, uh, Kevin Durant playing with Russell Westbrook. How is that going to react on TV? Uh, if you guys don't know, NHL has done this before, but we're not a hockey show, so <laughs> we'll leave that in the back. So, should the draft been televised? I mean, we're just televised right here. <laughs> <laughs> sure. We just did yeah. <laughs> what it would look like. But yeah. in the real NBA, yeah. it should have been. I think it was a, a no-brainer. This is easy yeah. ratings. This is easy commercial money. This is easy creating conversation for the fans on yeah. Twitter, everything. So much drama, so many story. Like, like what, what, why was this not televised? This is amazing. Yeah. And then LeBron goes and trolls us with that tweet. Like, that was fun. <laughs> it should have been televised. should have been yeah. televised. Yeah. Well, no, like, so passive-aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Subtweeting the fans now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, it was almost like a different era, like it's so long ago. But remember the decision? They televised yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. The decision, but they yeah. don't televise this. Exactly. It's, it didn't make sense. And really, oh. uh, to go quickly, like you touched on the NHL, what they do is the last place guy gets a car, so at least he gets something. But really, mm -hmm. I know the egos are, are big in professional sports, but yeah, you're picked last, but you're picked last of, of the 24 best players of the sport in the world. Yeah, like, by the fans, the players, players, and coaches, coaches. and it, media. There's really not, like, and, and use it as motivation. Yeah. Nothing to motivation. lose, to be honest. Yeah. Look you're, at DeMar with these uh, ESPN rankings and stuff. Prove them. Prove them. Prove them. Yeah, exactly. So do you think the NBA made, a, made it, you know, more serious or made it bigger than what it actually was to the players in terms of getting picked last or not being picked? I got to think the NBA wanted to televise it and, yeah. and somebody in the PA wasn't happy about this or yeah. they wanted to maybe see how it goes one year. They didn't want to embarrass the players. Yeah, I, I think yeah. the, for me, the NBA is the smartest uh, league of the, of the majors for Sport. professional Definitely networking. Definitely the most forward-thinking. Most forward-thinking, yeah. forward -thinking, yeah. smartest league. They always find ways to make money, create conversation, expand their brand. I, I really think they wanted to televise this, and I, I feel like it was something with the PA. I, yeah. I don't know why, but mm -hmm. I, I just feel like... And there's one thing that I believe that NBA on TNT, which it would have been televised on, them, or the, on, on that platform, I don't think they had room to televise it on, uh, the schedule-wise. Uh, how we're going to have LeBron James out of his normal routine to be on TV and go oh, back true, and forth yeah. with Stephen Curry right. you know, on, on Thursday night basketball with NBA on TNT yeah. and draft mm -hmm. In between games, but they got games to yeah. focus on. There's, if there's money to be made, they'll find a they'll way. Find way yeah. For sure. But they, they, yeah, they and like, I don't really know. Yeah. You're right. And yeah. I don't really know how the NHL does it, but they find a way. I'm sure the yeah. NBA can find well, a way. Well, the NHL does, which is pretty interesting, is they do it on, on the Friday night of All Star Weekend. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So everybody's there, everybody's on stage together, oh, okay. and then you start picking teams, and the guys yeah. come up, grab their jersey, and go to each side. That'd be a hell of a thing to add to Friday night. Yeah, yeah. and, and it's cool. You have like both teams kind of sitting there, so you can visualize it. You kind of see there's joking around, there's trades. At least we got like some of the All Star stars that were voted in by the coaches and the fans they get mm -hmm. actually get to be at the rising stars challenge yeah. probably if they were at they were to have it on NBA on tnt on friday the draft before the rising stars challenge and then yeah it's a good show it's a perfect yeah. is anybody yeah. watching the Beautiful celebrity friday? game no. like, oh, i love no. kevin hart but i've seen <laughs> right, yeah. what about technical michael, in that game yeah. what about michael <laughs> rappaport <laughs> michael rappaport yeah jay <laughs> smooth is who's yeah, the celebrity game. game is on friday night that's yeah, what yeah, I, yeah. yeah. that then, could have been some competition there with the espn and, and nba on tnt so but even yeah. yeah do it before make it a whole evening make, they'll, they'll make it happen the shooting stars on that day too i think next year uh no it's usually on the saturday they'll do it on the saturday but yeah they could have found room, I think, to do it that weekend. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. What, let's go straight up about the, uh, since we already named all the uh, All-Star and Reserves, what about, you know, the snubs? Like, who do you think were the biggest snubs right now on the All-Star in terms of, you know, should we go quite a couple e names. Should we go East or West first? Yeah. We want to go East Let's go East first. first. Like, yeah. who's been, who was the snub, the biggest snub Ooh. in the East? East snub. Yeah. There is some rumors. There's some mm -hmm. people. The Milwaukee fans are chanting for for Middleton. Oh, I say, oh, I say, oh, I say maybe. Yeah. But but mostly no. Who I'm gonna give it to is Goran Dragic. Ooh. Nobody paid attention to more. No one Ooh. pays attention Nobody. to Goran Dragic. Yeah. He's Just tough. The heat he's hard nosed. Yeah. Yeah. He's a. He, Probably the most consistent player on that team. They're, I think they're in fifth or fourth, fourth now, right? Fourth we're, we're standing yeah. uh, fourth or fifth in that area. Honestly, but besides growing. injuries, he's probably one, been one of the most consistent guards like the last five, six years. Exactly. And, and 
I feel like if you talk to other guards around the East, they do not like playing against him. He seems to always be in a scuffle. Yeah. Every other yeah. game, I'm seeing an highlight to him scuffling. He <laughs> always somebody. gets him. Yeah. Hard nosed, has the numbers. It would have been nice to see uh, a guy from Miami get get in yeah. there. I think that was an easy was, one. I mean, yeah. we're starting East, so we're going to start East, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Because I was going to go West, and I think West is an easy one. Yeah. But the East, I have to go with love for my big men. Yeah, Drummond. Drummond. Don't yeah, forget about Drake. Yeah. He's Don't having a career year. Drake. He's averaging the most assist, steals he's had, yep. points, rebounds, everything. He's played every game. He's put up almost MVP numbers. He yeah. won't win MVP, yeah. but he's put up the best numbers he's ever put up. He's at like 15 and 14 in points and rebounds. And I think a clear, a, a clear replacement for him would be Al Horford, yeah. who I don't think should have been an all-star. It's only because yeah. they're the number one. The number one, you yeah. got to give him two yeah. guys, yeah. I guess. At least. It makes but, sense. Yeah, I think if, if Detroit stayed... Uh, Closer near the top of the East, like they they how they started done. out, I think Drummond would have got in there. For sure. Yeah. They have free fallen real yeah. fast, unfortunately. Fast. Yeah. And, and I thought they, they would actually continue to get better, but yeah. I guess What not. about the West? Let's go straight up West. Who was your oh, biggest step in the West? Lou Will. Lou Six Will. man like Lou Will. <laughs> yeah. Easy. That's, honestly, that's all I have to say about it. He's kept the Lakers, like Clippers, above ground. Like, yeah. the only reason people talk about them still is because of Lou Will. Yeah. Blake Ruins been gone for so yeah. long. So many DeAndre Jordan is not a go to scorer. No, yeah. He was injured, was too. Playing really yeah. well. he was injured so as well. For, for me, I, I always like re rewarding the winning teams. Yeah. I feel like the Rockets, I know Chris Paul's missed a lot of time, yeah. but he's really only missed 19 <sighs> games, which is almost as much as Curry's missed. Yeah. Even though he got voted by the fans. Yeah. Chris Paul, I think, should, should be in there. Uh -huh. yeah. The Rockets have to have two guys. They're probably the second best team in the league. Yeah. They only got one guy in there. There's a little that bit more sense. going yeah. on. Than, I agree than with the two, but if it wasn't Chris Paul, just because the game's missed, who would you have taken as, instead? I would think Capella. Oh, if it, oh, on the Rockets? Yeah, on the Rockets. yeah, Capella's played really well. Yeah, I guess I'd go Capella. Cause, and that's the sneaky thing with their team is they very much like where the Raptors have, like they're playing a bunch of guys, all playing well. It's a different guy every night. But yeah, yeah. Capella's... He's so consistent for them. Yeah. Every good team needs a solid big, mm. quote unquote, in this day and age mm. big, not necessarily. Because like they definitely school. deserve two, but just yeah. like Paul has been gone for so long. Yeah. He's it, definitely yeah, the number true. two, should be there. He just, yeah. yeah. I just, I'm giving it to Paul on pedigree. Yeah. He's the point <laughs> guard. He's yeah. the point guard. He's got to yeah. get in there. Exactly. Sure. It would be nice to see him in there. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's all we have right now for Pre Crossover. I hope you guys enjoy that. Anything you guys would like to say before we end the show? Any shout outs? Social media uh, accounts. Social media account, underscore Bruno. Once again, B-R-E-W-K-N-O-W -E on Twitter and Instagram. Hit me up. Talk some basketball. Talk some other sports, whatever you'd like. Xander, you got any shout-outs? Uh, again, I think I'm going to do the same thing as last week. AlbanyAvenueBasketball.com. Check us out. We're also on Instagram. It's the same thing. Albany Avenue Basketball. And Ooh. also, we're on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Twitter, Twitter, we're covering the Raptors game, live tweeting. Instagram and Facebook, we got highlights of our show. Mike and Mark's dealing with that. Oh, we also got our YouTube channel full highlights there as well. So just definitely subscribe to us, follow us, tweet at us. We'll love to see your comments, feedback, especially what do you guys think of the all-star teams that Xander and Bruno picked out. Definitely we'll post that on later Le this Bruno week. Bruno, 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 Bruno. Other than that, guys, stay ballin'. See you guys. Mm -hmm.